when the country was young. The railroad was being built. Teams of men went into the wild country, cleared the roadbeds, laid the tracks, and helped move the railroads further and further west across America. Now there was one team of railroad men who always worked together. They had their own ways of doing things, their own foreman. Oh, they even had their own cook who went with them from railroad camp to railroad camp. One of the railroad men came into the big kitchen one day to talk to him. Hey there, Cookie. That was a great breakfast you fixed for us. Really great. Glad you liked it, Ben. All the men appreciated Cookie, and they asked me to thank you. And they say the eggs were especially delicious. Good. I was sure they would be. Sure they would be. How come, Cookie? You got a special secret or something? Sure do, Ben. What is it? A special recipe? Nope, nope. Special frying pan? Nope. Well, beats me how you keep making the best eggs that we ever ate. What's the secret? It's the eggs themselves, Ben. The eggs? But Cookie, you you know we move from town to town. Why we're putting this here railroad into places that don't even have towns yet? That means there's no places to buy the eggs you give us. So how can you give us such good ones all the time? Want to see? Sure do. And here's my secret weapon. A hen? Not just a hen, Ben. That's Hetty the hen. She's our mascot. Been with me ever since I came here to cook for you boys. And you know why she lays such good eggs for y'all? Because she loves you. That's why. I know it's hard for you to believe. I mean, that a hen could care so much for a bunch of hooligans like you. But whenever I tell her that she's got to lay eggs for your breakfast, hmm. See what I mean? See how happy she is to lay eggs for this railroad gang? We're her family, Ben. She'd lay dozens of eggs a day if she knew you guys would eat them all up. Cookie, that's terrific. Well, you tell Hetty the hen that we love her too. Now it happened that one day a new young fellow joined the railroad men. He was not very nice in, in general, and he wasn't very nice to Hetty the hen in particular. Whenever he came near her, Scat hen, get out of my way! Think I got nothing better to do than look out for you, Scat? Get! And of course, Hetty the hen w- would get out of his way and go hide. <laughs> Now, where in the world did Hetty go? It's time for some eggs. Hey. Oh, there you are, Hetty. You okay? Oh, you're sad. What about Hetty? Sure wish you could talk a little. Now let's get some of your eggs. What? Why, Hetty? No eggs. No eggs today? For the first day in her years with the railroad men, Hetty didn't lay any eggs for them. And to the surprise of the cook, she didn't lay eggs for days and days and days. Or, or any more, for that matter. And soon the railroad men started complaining about their breakfast. Hey, Cookie, what's going on here? Well, what's happened to our great breakfast? Darn if I know, Ben. Something's happened to Hetty. She just won't lay any eggs. How come? I don't know for sure, Ben. Poor Hetty can't talk, but something around here is making her unhappy. And I'll bet that's why she ain't laying eggs for us. Well, what can we do about it? Ben, I have an idea. Here's what I want you to do. 